All right, here. Hi, this is Mike from Family DIY. And today, <laughs> we're gonna show you how to fix this. All right, so, we have two different chairs here, two different manufacturers. And lucky for us, they actually are put together the same exact way. Hold on, a little out of breath. All right, so, what we have to do is we actually have to remove the fabric from the frame. All right, so, what you do, we're gonna flip both of these over. And I just wanna show you how easy this is. All right, so I have a 10, no, this is a 12 millimeter. And the first thing we're gonna do is if we look at this, you can see this is actually welded together on this side or brazed together, whatever. And on this side we have uh, bolts that we need to remove. So once we remove that, that'll actually move this, this closer together and it will take the tension off of the fabric. And then we just slide the fabric out of the channels that it's in right now, okay? All right. Oh, wow, let's roll away. All right. There you go, you hold that. Your other tool might be out in the woods. All right. Whew. All my tools are in the uh, woods. All right, so what we wanna do now is we wanna pop off these covers. So you can just use whatever you got. You don't wanna gnar this up. Just gently pry these caps off. Do not break these. Okay, so that one. Next thing we're gonna do is we flipped it over and we're gonna remove this, this support. Okay, so this is an Allen key. So we're just gonna remove this on both sides. All right, now we're gonna start removing the top part. So this is a 10 mil now. Putting everything in a baggie. All right, so now all the pieces, just leave them here. off and loose last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off take this off this one just one of them out to make it easier to work with Okay, so now we got all we have to do is we need to pull this. You see, this this is just a sling inside this channel. And you can see there's a spline in there. That's what holds this all together. So basically what I'm doing now is kind of just trying to loosen it up. And then what you're gonna see is it's just gonna slide out. Sometimes this takes a little bit of force. All right, do one side at a time. And you may be thinking, why don't you just cut it? You know, but the reason why we don't cut it is because we're we're sewing this um, back together. So we need this as a template. If we cut it, we kind of would we wouldn't have, have our template. Okay. Move on to the upper part again. Loosen it up by pulling it back. It slides right out. We go now we're gonna get to all of our chairs um, this is the spline I was referring to so what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna do it but the wife and my mom are gonna do it because I don't know how to do it we're going to we bought new fabric and we're basically just gonna remake this um, same exact piece um, with the spline on it and then once we do that we'll slide it back into the channels put it all back together and we'll walk you through that. So what I wanted to just show you is we already cut one of the slings apart, okay? So the easiest thing to do, and really it's the most expensive way, is you can just find the manufacturer of your chair, for example, this one's Sunbrella, you can just buy, you can just buy these replacement slings and just slide them right back in um it's pretty expensive with four chairs i think it'd be like eight hundred dollars or something so what we did is we went to um 
went to the fabric store and we bought fabric um, uh, that we liked. And we're going to put that on all the chairs. My wife's actually going to do that. All right. So once you find the fabric that you like, make sure it's outdoor fabric. What I would do is just bring this with you and say, hey, I want something like this. And they'll have tons of options. Okay. One other thing you want to, or two other things you want to think about is your sewing machine. So the sewing machine needle, the normal needle is not going to be strong enough. You need something that's a little bit more heavy duty. So tell them what you're, what you're, what you're sewing and they'll give you the needle. I think it's a needle number 14, I believe my wife said, or 16. Don't quote me on that, but they'll tell you what you need. Um, you need to know what type of, um, you need to know what type of, uh, sewing machine you have. So make sure you bring that information with you to the store as well. All right, one other thing is you need heavy duty outdoor um, sewing line, okay? So make sure you pick up that. Don't just use normal sewing line because this thing will snap apart. You can see these things are pretty heavy duty. All right, so make sure you get heavy duty line. All right, last thing I wanted to show you before we get into actually making the slings is this is what's actually inside. This is the spline. It's called spline, I believe. Okay, um, you can see it's actually curve just from being in there forever all right and this is actually what slides in the channel or that's what's inside here and that's what's actually holding it in from sliding out you know so that slides up in there okay so this is the spline and all we're going to do is we're basically going to lay this down and we'll go over that on top of the fabric that we chose cut it out just re-sew it make sure it's the same exact width and uh and then re and then reinstall it basically reverse the steps of taking it apart okay the wife here so after <clears throat> trial and error the best way we found out to redo these sling fabric chairs is to take the old fabric and put it under the new fabric and then one side at a time fold it over and tape it and then sew. So when you do, when you fold the fabric over, the sling fabric is gonna be not very straight. So what you wanna do is you wanna match up the sling, the new fabric with the edges where the spline goes through. Cause there it should be true to size. So you fold it over and you just tape along this side so that it stays in place while you sew. So once you're done sewing this side, you line it back up with the spines, the corners, and then you go down to the opposite side and you fold this over and then you sew this. So you wanna do it again, you match the spine the corners here where this where the spline goes. Right spline. I think that's it. And then you just tape it. And then once you're done taping, you run it through the sewing machine. Alright, All right, so after you're done sewing the two ends, you're gonna want to cut off the excess fabric so that when you fold this part over to sew it, you're not sewing through a lot of extra um, fabric, which is makes it harder for your sewing machine. So just clo cut close to the uh, the hemline. Just don't cut on the hemline. You don't want the um, the hemline to you know come apart, and then you're gonna have to re-sew that side again. So just cut it along the side here, and then once you're done cutting both sides, you're going to line it up again, and you're gonna fold this side over now. And then once you're done folding that side over, you're gonna tape it and sew it. All right, so once you sew this one side, you're going to, like the other, like when we were doing top and bottom, you're gonna put it back on top, line it up, and then fold the other side. Fold it down, tape it, and then sew it one last time. All right, now that the slings are done, you want to reinstall it and the way you want to do it is this way so you want to hold it up pull down and push pull down and push oh there we go the 
besides sewing, this has got to be the worst part. All right, so oh. once we get the sling in its sleeve, we can turn the whole unit over. Swat a fly out. You want to go on this side? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to use clamps. So I'm going to put this in the bolts there. I'm just going to pick this middle one. Pull it. Bottom is done. Flip it over. So as that seats, we'll run those bolts in a little bit more to tighten it up. All right, now we're gonna move on to the top. If only the bottom was that easy. Only if. Now we do the top. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the top. This is a little tight. So what I like to do is put two on one side. Okay, so we had, a little, had to take a little break there because we, we had a rain. So uh, like I was saying, so we attach this side on, all right? And then what we do is with our thumbs here, we wanna line this up and bend it. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the support. Okay, so that one goes into this these holes here. So again, we're just reversing what we did to take this apart. So we put the bolt, we put the bushing, and we put it in the hole. leave me a comment below um, let me know if you do this yourself um, and what was easier what was harder and what I could have done better I really appreciate it but without further ado let's show you the chairs here it is what do you guys think Katie what do you think I like it. good mm -hmm. now the nice thing about this is we were replacing we were fixing chairs that were messed up but you could you could do that of course but you could also be doing this just to customize your furniture um, to match your decor so let's say you're like you have a you know leaf decor outside you could get fabric and do this yourself it's a little bit of a pain in the butt but um you know that'd be another application for this you can really customize your current furniture that you have it's a sling type furniture um, with this process so i really hope this helped you and gave you an idea um, and maybe gave you the confidence to do yourself again if you did do it please hit that subscribe button i really appreciate it also please hit that like button uh, i really would appreciate it all right, and uh, we really appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate you, and thank you. Bye-bye.